Welcome back to another phenomenal esports competition. This is the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. Puckett and Mr. X bringing you Optic Gaming versus Strictly Business and SB. They didn't go down without a fight in SND or that uplink game, but Optic's got to be proud of the way they closed that out. Optics, they got to feel pretty comfortable. They're in control of the series. Thought they probably should have taken the SD as well. Kind of gave some rounds away to SB, but uh, just to give you a quick update on what's going to happen, the winner of this match will play Phase Red. So Phase Red takes out Envy in 3 0 fashion. Uh, Envy's very done. strong performance out of Phase Red. Yeah, so uh, Envy and Optic Nation outside the top eight. And I believe also that next match, that Phase Red versus whoever wins this, will be for a spot in the top eight as well. So, uh, you know, four of the teams that we all thought would be in the top eight, I mean, they are sh struggling to make it there. Only one is actually going to make it. My predictions are wrecked. No oh, DCM, yeah, bracket, no Epsilon, yeah. no Envy, no Optic Nation. And we're going to find out, will it be no Strictly Business? Optic Gaming can make that happen if they get a win here and capture the flag and close out this series. But Dito, he could go off at any moment. You see his best game mode is capture the flag. He's the slayer on this squad, and he held a top five KD overall of both 2013 and 2014. The man's got to get it going here in 2015, though he's been very inconsistent today. Yeah, he's been up and down all day long. I think he would even tell you that. Going into a Biolab CTF, can expect to see him running that assault rifle, and I think the battle's going to be between him and Formal. Who can lock down those lanes? And you see right there, that's a good sign for Strictly Business. You said you needed Dito to get going, and he had the highest CTF KD during group play for this SB lineup yeah. with a 1.58. It's extremely impressive things out of Dito. So we're going to be starting the game off yeah, with not? Dito from Strictly Business. He's sticking with the bow. He's put the IMR away for good, it seems. And we'll see what his plan is off the break. I have to say, TR on this map played absolutely phenomenal. And they had a player in the same situation that Dito is in. He was watching kind of greenside, always watching the flank of his teammates while the other three were constantly pursuing the objective. Yeah, Dito just trying to watch that overextension. It's actually going to be a player from Optic Gaming taking the strictly business flag. It's going to be Crim6. He's going to be trying to work his way over towards purple. And he has teammate support in front of him as long as they can get these cuts in ice this should be a flat cap early for optic gaming and his teammates pick those kills up optic gaming with a flat cap right off the break great sign there for optic yeah 37 seconds not a bad time there for your first flag of the game they are making a statement here and they are trying to just finish strong scumpy opening up four and one a two spree looking for a third he will be stopped that was john causing problems meanwhile on the other side of the map it's formal just grabbing it and dipping out Nate shot's gonna get one cut, cleans up Fizzer. The flag is pulled by Strictly Business, though, and this is a huge one-on-one -on -one for Neslo to survive. Yeah, Neslo, he's gonna be taken out in his own base by Krim. That flag's gonna go back. It's gonna be Optic Gaming putting another one on the board, and Strictly Business, they need to get things going quickly here because this could get out of hand. We've seen Optic Gaming time again. You know, they get you early, they put you in a bind, they make you play, you know, little bit you no know, desperate you know have to overextend a little bit more challenge things you don't want to do and once they do that to you uh, it's pretty much over uh, someone from the COD stats team please find out was that back-to-back -back 37 second caps I'm pretty sure we've seen two there to open things up optic gaming now doing damage in the middle it's Krim clearing out the bio lab doesn't see anything meanwhile formal once again he grabbed that second flag, and with this route this time around, though, it's going to be solid defense from Dito, and Dito needs to do that all side long if they want to stay in it. And also, a little bit of an interesting change from off the gaming. You're going to see Formal, looks like he's going to be running an ASM1 here. They're going to give the AR job over to Nade Shot. So we saw this a little bit at the North American Championship. It wasn't working too good. They switched it up, put Formal back in that AR role, but right now, Definitely working, as you see, though. Fizzer looks like he's going to be able to get this flag on the board for SB, so they're going to answer again. They needed to do that. I mean, you, you, once Optic Gaming gets a big lead on you, you're kind of you're out of the game at that point. You have to play desperate, and you're not going to beat them that way. So Fizzer making a nice play to keep SB in this game. Fantastic flag route there from Fizzer, and even better cover from his teammates. You saw not everyone from Optic died. However, they were forced back for a moment, bought enough time for Fizzer to squeak it in. So. 2-1, a one-point game separates these two teams, and we'll see what is going to happen in the final two minutes and 13 seconds of side number one. At the half, we will switch sides and go at it for another five minutes. For here, though, it looks like the slank dominated by Optic, and look how little That's interaction Dito has been in. Just I, six, six kills and deaths combined. Right, uh, Dito playing a very slow-paced game, just kind of play some base defense, even though 
Hasn't really worked for this strictly business lineup. Obviously down a flag. It's going to be Nezlo trying to make a play. He's actually going to be able to pick up Scump and Fizzer gets on that machine gun turret trying to make something happen with that. He's going to be taken out by Nezlo. Looks like he's going to have one teammate covering uh -oh. behind him. It's going to be Dito. Should be able to put this one in. He's got one player to beat and he's going to get it home. So SV going to tie this one up in the first half. Scump's going to come in, pick up a kill. He's going to run this flag towards Green Plat. It's going to be John. Only player that can really contend with that, John, oh, picking up two huge geez, kills right John. there to return that. Nezo with another one. Fizzer, he might be able to pull this towards Snow and get an easy cap. It looks like he's trying to bring this towards Green Plaid. He has to bring it back uh -oh. towards Ice, and he is going to be trapped by players of Optic Gaming. It's going to be up to Nezlo to keep it alive, and that flag is returned. Dito doing a great job back at the base. Stuns one, kills the other, coming back for the flag carrier, oh. and he just lights up Nade Shot there to keep the flag at home. Dito has been the difference maker. We called him out before this game started, really performing well. And you got to give props to Neslo and Fizzer, really keeping that pressure on the objective. John always in the middle, getting the cuts. And you got to think maybe Optic Gaming considers making that formal back to the AR switch for Nate. I think Nate is really good on CTF when he can sneak around, get flanked. We always see he makes a big play on the flag, you know, picking up one or two kills able to get in, sneak around, pull a flag out for the team. I think that would suit it better for Optic Gaming than Formal running that submachine gun. You want Formal to really force those engagements to be able to take out tons of players. And it looks like John will fall in the bio. I'm going back over to Optic for the final 20 seconds. We got Scump and Scumpy. Looking for maybe one last pull instead. Optic just wants to prevent their flag from being taken. You can see a member hanging out inside the base, and Scump is looking for kills. The flag's pulled with five seconds left, and that's just to pad the stats because there's no way they're getting it home before halftime. All tied up, man, after a great start from Optic Gaming in the first minute, 14 seconds, basically. We saw some dominant play coming in from SB's Neslo, John, Fizz and Dito. I mean, you got to be pretty happy if you're an SB fan. You know, did not look good for you at the start of that game. You're able to make it come back, tie it up, going into the second half on Violet. But really, for Optic Gaming, Formal and Nate really got to get up there with Scump and Krim. Scump and Krim leading the way by a large margin for this Optic Gaming team right now. The Krim bot, you said he's still the best in the game. I'm not going to disagree with that. Let's see what he's up to coming off the break. Double Nate's going in. Neslo's going to pick up first blood as he takes out Scump. Nate shot in formal, though, answering right back. And Krim is going to spot an opponent. I like this positioning here, though, from Fizzerp. Just going to bait some players in. Gets one. Now looping behind a second. That's going to stop the push. Three down for Optic, all set up by Fizzer. SB doing a great job stopping the offensive pushes of Optic Gaming. It seems at times, you know, Optic able to get two or three players dead for SB and one player for SB able to go pretty big on the defensive end, pick up two or three kills, let the teammates spawn up. They're able to get back on the offensive. It's going to be interesting to see, though, if they move Dito out of this base a little bit more here in the second half, it looks like he's going to be in mid bio lab, just watching that purple cross, trying to pick up some players, using those studs to check, seeing where players are. We saw Perico Impact do that a lot on CTF. Back in Black Ops 2 with EMPs, it's going to be Dito using stuns here to do that for Strictly Business. Great reaction time from Formal. Keeps him alive, but the optic flag has been pulled. It's in the hands of John. Formal and crew have now swarmed into the SB base, and he will be your flag runner. Look for the return coming in from Scump. He's going to be the first to challenge. Gets one. Two more defenders, though, before he can get that return. And here comes the flag fight. Nice kill from John to stay alive. Yeah, John doing a nice job defending himself. Dito picking up some kills for SB, and John is actually going to challenge this uh -oh. flag carrier. It's going to be Neslo coming in to save him. Formal's got to get out of there. And Formal's going to get taken down, but so is John. Both flags back at home. That was a very dangerous situation for OG. Oh, and you see Scum making a big play there with a melee right to Neslo's face. Pulling the flag out towards Snow. He's got teammates to put. There's one player in purple. Could potentially make a huge play. It's going to be Krim able to take John out. This should be a flag cap for Optic Gaming. Put him up by one here. Three minutes to go. Optic looking to close this series out. Over to Krim now. Krim, flag in hand. Going to find one. Now with the flag, he's going to be moving over to Snow. The cuts. They got one player in front, one back at home. But do they know? Yes, they do. It's formal clear in the way, and that's another cap. Optic pulling away here once again, starting off the round very hot. 
Can they keep it up, though? They got to close SB out, though. SB not going to go away easy. And right now, you got to have Tito go on the offensive. See John, he's going to pick up a kill. He's going to oh, get another John. one. And he's going to be able to pull this flag towards Purple. They're going to have one player to beat. It's going to be formal. He's able to take out John. So it's going to be Dito. He's going to have to get the flag. Great defensive stand from Nadeshot and Formal. Scump in the kill feed as well. Optic should be able to stop this strictly business attack. Man. Even if SB gets knocked out here, I think John is definitely an MVP nominee. But if you're not winning money, how valuable is it? We're going to see Fizzer trying to get in. Can't get much. Nezlo trying to protect as well. Not going to happen. Dito rotating back, but Optic's going to happily grab their flag and run it back through snow. No one in position to stop it. But if they can get a return here, they got to opportunity for a counter cap it all comes down to John getting that kill though and he's not going to in time three capture lead in favor of optic gaming matt this is looking like it's all wrapped up yeah if sb is going to make a comeback they have to pretty much get a flag right now and it's very difficult to see that happening with the way og playing really locking down those lanes and you see crim and skump doing a nice job getting to the sb base really, really Nobody in sight from SB giving a challenge. And this is huge right here. If Optic Gaming wins this stalemate, they're going to take this one easily. I still think, though, no minute 15 to go. Three flags up. It's pretty safe to say Optic Gaming has this. And you see Krim make a nice shot right there onto John. 27 19 is Scump with two captures. Krim 23 and 15 with two caps of his own. How do you counter that? You don't. That's the problem. Uh, you're going to need a full team effort, really. Everybody going off if you're going to counter that. And uh, SB didn't get that this game. It's unfortunate. They have a very good run so far. But it looks like Optic Gaming is going to take this one. Want well, to congratulate Strictly Business for getting this far in the tournament. But it looks like their run has come to an end. Optic just playing it out for the final 40 seconds, 35 seconds and less remaining here as it continues to take down Nade Shot. I was looking to see who he is going to be fighting. He's going to take on everyone and win those battles. Crim and Formal in the kill feed there with Scump as well. Everyone adding some kills to their feed. And taking a look at the numbers. Not a bad score across the board for Optic Gaming. Nope, everybody from Optic Gaming chipping in to close out strictly business here. Just a phenomenal performance from Optic on this CTF Biolab. Six, five, four, three, two, one. It is done. Optic Gaming moves on to the next round. Yeah, that next round matchup is going to be massive. Puckett going to be going up against Phase Red. Team, a lot of people thought this would be the grand finals of this event, but it's happening a little bit early, and it's going to decide, I believe, who makes it into the top eight. Tons of storylines with that one. No Krim versus Aches. Aches versus Krim. Parasite looking for his second ring. I uh, can't wait for that one. It's going to be great to watch. A fantastic matchup. So many great plays in this one. But to recap it all, let's send it over to our friends on the Xbox stage. That was uh, pretty intense. It's still kind of uh, surreal to see Optic Gaming like fighting for their lives so early in the loser's bracket. You are completely right on that. It's like and crazy. Yeah, it's, it's non-stop, and they're going to have to make the grind through the loser's bracket kind of like I did last year. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. The grind never hurts. Yeah, the grind, yeah, sometimes it builds character, it, right? It does, and it also builds you confidence as you go through the tournament. When you lose a game, you kind of lose a little bit. So yep. the fact that they're able to get some matches rolling, it's the third one now, so they're going to be they're going to be looking great as they go on. So Phase Red is not next up next for them. And Phase Red. I was going to say, what do you think? I know we got to recap that match, and there's a lot to talk about. But right. there's a lot of storylines in Phase Red. Right. Let's start with recapping just right, quickly. Right, so right, let's right, go right, quickly. Yeah, we got yeah, a lot yeah. to talk about. Go ahead. Lay down, so, man. I know this is your favorite part. You love this. So, Live so yeah, for this we, stuff. I'm we, just here. We got Retreat Hardpoint was the first map. So we had a 30-point lead uh, from Optic Gaming before at the third hardpoint. So after the third hardpoint, it was a 30-point lead. On the fourth hardpoint, we saw literally a good start, and it kept close, but on the fifth hard point, to kind of come to the point, we saw, excuse me, uh, Optic Gaming broke the whole setup. They, yeah. they got beat on rotation. Optic Gaming got a quick three-piece to get a full 60 on the next hill, and from that point on, it was over. It was like a 70-point lead after that, after the first rotation. That was it. Scumpy went massive with a 42 and 23. I mean, it, when Scumpy plays that well, it's really hard to beat Optic. And he's one of the players that will do objective as well as playing on the hard point. He'll do it from the hard point. He'll do it from everywhere. He'll do whatever is needed to win, and he did that very well there. Detroit S and D, big this closer. This game got out of hand, though, man. Probably. Yeah, I mean, it was it was very much so. Like like I said, this after that after that first rotation, Optic just took off and never looked back. Is basically they, they got on the train and SB missed that train sadly. Um, yeah. Yes, they did. So they move on. Detroit S and D was a very it was super close. They went to round yeah, eleven. Yeah, back and forth. Yeah. So the first 
really the, the changing point here was the, I believe, the eight round where John got that two snipe. There was a 2v4. The bomb was planted for Optic. Optic's in a 4v2 situation. Bomb planted. John got two sniper kills, which are very, like, yeah. uh, they were, the first one was very a good pick, but then someone ran at him to try and get him to quick real quick, trying to make an individual play to kill him off. But he made a quick, quick scope to get that second kill. And that was the game changer at that point. Once they won that round, they made it 4-4. Four to four, and that was huge. That basically just kind of changed the whole momentum in the game. They ended up winning one, uh, round 9, and then they lost round 10, but they won. Round 11 was very interesting because SB made a, a smoke push. And this is something SB is known for. They'll pull out LMGs, they'll throw smokes down, they'll wear out the cold blood, excuse me. Yeah, signature the Fizzurp. Move. But yeah, exactly. Signature Fizzurp is really good at that. So they basically ended up winning that round and closing out that map. And then we went to Biolab Uplink. Uh, we saw Crim6. Basically, we didn't know much to say about that. The, the desk covered it all. They said Crim6 just went off. Crim6 was the main reason why they won that map. It, it got close. It was 7-6. to six. Uh, at, it was about a minute and a half yeah. left. And then Optic just started slaying everything and Crim would slay everything. And it was basically like there's no chance for SB to come back in that game. Yeah, no, it was it was tough. So yeah. we went into uh, to game number three. It was game, no, we just talked game, game four. Game four, I mean, game, four, game yeah. number four. And that, that they kind of like took it away there too. I mean, it was yeah. maybe the first half a little bit closer, but at the end of the day, the first half it was, was, yeah. was kind of over, It right? was two to two after the first right. half. SB was kind of keeping up in slaying, yes or no, but then it, it's it's always like, for Optic, for the rest of this event, if they can outslay their opponents like they normally do, normally Optic I mean, that's what they're so outslay. used to, right? right? I mean, that's, that's literally, uh, those, they got three guys that just can sit back and slay constantly. And they rely on that so heavily that if that is ever missing at any point, the team kind of collapses. Yeah, it, it, so it seems like they found that a little bit in this SP right. match. And, and to be fair, like, it's really the moments where if they can keep it close when they don't outslay like that, then they give themselves a chance. This yep. is kind of what happened here. They outslay by a little bit after the first half, but then the second half they just took off. Three of the four players are like plus 10 after at the end of this game. So it really ended up being the winner for them. And congrats to SB for making it this far. Like they said on the caster desk, it, it's always hard to play like the first seeded team in the second round of the yeah, losers. Yeah, you don't expect and to have both of those teams, either Optic or Denial, getting dropped out of the losers that early made it a pretty sucky situation for whoever had to face them. You right. Know, I mean, yeah. It, it was, so there was no good situation with one of those teams having to drop into losers in round one. And there's a few teams that ended up getting kicked out because of all those, those yeah, it crazy changed everything. That, that Optic Nation, Envious match was yeah. kind of crazy, Envy beat too. Optic Nation. Yeah. Envy lost to Phase Red. Phase to, Red, this yeah. Match. Phase so Red Envy's for out. This. Yeah. Uh, and then TR beat Prof for top three. So yep. Prof is in, the, in your winner's finals. Which is like, what? They'll play the winner like, of Denial in uh, Automatic Reload to that. Nobody had that in their bracket other than Acid, maybe. And right. And yeah, Orbit, yeah. Orbit I mean, was Acid up, probably didn't have that in his bracket. Orbit was up 2-0 against TK. Oh, and yeah. I believe, I'm not sure if it's last up or not, but they have been playing for a little while, and I saw TK, TK fans getting up and getting cheering, so it's probably coming back. What we is happening? Really crazy, God Champs 2015. God Champs this year is oh, my goodness. Absolutely insane. Well, do you, what, what are some, any final words, or do you want to talk about Phase Red real quick? The yeah, Phase Red, the optic, phase red match. optic match. I mean, I, mean, that's I just like that, that optic, that, that aches. Versus Optic in any scenario, Aix first nade shot, even though it's kind of like friendly banter, I'm sure Aix would love to put the green ball out of right. the tournament. It's I mean, becoming like, kind of like... probably more satisfied knocking Optic out of the tournament than even thinking about winning another ring. <laughs> I truly believe that knowing Pat. I, would, I wouldn't I wouldn't. You wouldn't doubt that. it, yeah. I wouldn't go yeah. against that. But it's basically Woo! the fact that Optic... You can't make these up. Optic and Phase Red are becoming this kind of like threshold of advanced warfare. They matched up in the finals of the first tournament. It was a crazy game. Phase Red took that. Then they met up at regionals and a bit before that. There's been a lot of back and forth. There's kind of like this very good rivalry that's going to happen. Yeah. Like you said, because Aches and Krim, they obviously don't like each other very much. So no, 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 no. There's, no, there's, no, there's, no. there's not much love there, let's just say that. Well, well, speaking of that squad, IJ's down on the floor with the homie nade shot. So I will send it over to them too to see how he's feeling post victory. All right, I'm down here on the floor with nade shot. So congratulations on your win. So how are you feeling? Uh, we're feeling pretty good. We just want to keep playing, get these matches rolling. I think we had a really slow start to this tournament. Uh, we've had a really tough time kind of finding our groove that we've been able to find at other tournaments. Uh, so it's finally kind of all coming together, and it's going to be a really good match next versus Phase Red. So is there something different that sort of happened in this tournament as opposed to the ones that you guys have previously been playing? Yeah, like I was saying, I mean, personally, I wasn't playing that well towards the start of the day. I think we all had a really slow start, everybody on the team. Like I said, we were just really hard to find that rhythm that you always have. And that's a really big part of Call of Duty, just make sure your timings are down. And that's just something that we were lacking. Uh, but that was a really good win versus Strictly Business. It felt really good. It felt like how we've been playing for the past like three or four months. So uh, we're excited to keep playing the, the tournament. So do you guys think communication is an issue? I mean, what really do you think it is that's, that's going wrong? It's it's t it's tough to put your finger on it. Like it just fe we feel disorientated. Uh, but like I said, that last match felt great. I think we beat them by like 130 in hard point. Beat them by three flags in CTF and uplink biolab is supposed to be kind of our weak one of our weaker maps. 
and we handled that pretty well. So I think I think everything's back on track. I think the next match will be uh, really competitive, and uh, we're excited to play it. All right. So any last shout outs for the green wall out there? Yeah, thank you guys all for coming out. Thank you for everyone watching on stream. Sorry that we lost early, but uh, we're going to try to make it back all the way through Loser's Bracket. All right, we're going to set it over to break right now. When we come back, we've got Optic Gaming and Phase Red coming up. New rewards across three intense game modes. Command classic Call of Duty heroes. Precisely control devastating killstreaks to overpower your enemy's base. Download Call of Duty Heroes for free now.